we go. Match number two. We are going to play um, the same deck. So where is it? Where's aggro? Where's aggro? Uh, aggro order one. What the heck is it? Did I pass it? Aggro order. Here, aggro order one. Okay. I think that was too late, though. Challenge you with aggro order. I have to use the same deck if he didn't remember the rules. Because I won. And he's going to have a chance to counter with a different deck. Okay. So, good luck. And we get another good starting hand. Uh, tough choice with the sacrifice here. We know he's not going to be like... Actually, he could be... I don't think he's going to be decay, because he just had decay. And you have to change your deck. So maybe the Wings War is not going to be as important, but I guess energy it is. Maybe it's energy. I think he's going to be structure energy, structure energy, because that's a good counter to tempo order. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to sacrifice the Royal Vanguard. Actually, maybe I should have sacrificed the Wings Captain. But I do want to keep that Roasted Beam Potion. As although there are six uh, countdown reduction. Ooh, another Decay deck. Maybe this is going to be a different kind of Decay deck. Well, obviously it's going to be, you're not allowed to have the same kinds of decay decks. So it's going to be a different kind of decay deck, and we're going to see what, what it is. I'm going to play the Wings Warder, the early Wings Warder, again, very important. And now I can go Skirmisher Wings Captain, but this thing it could be a problem. Interesting, I don't see that very often played on its own. Usually you get Meyer Shamblers from Soul Steals. But uh, me and Blinky had to come up with. Eight individ nine individual decks, so maybe this is gonna be like an undead deck. That'd be fun and interesting to see. So let's see what we can do here. He's trying to even it up because in the last match uh, we won, the first match of the thing, this is match number two, and he's trying to even it up, and I'm trying to take a 2 0 lead in this best of five. And last time he played uh, some kind of. Ooh! <laughs> I'm excited for this deck he has. Last time he played a Decay Order thing. That was just a Decay Order thing. It had like Night Scholars and Curse Mongers. I'm not really sure what, what the premise was. I'm sure he'll. I'm sure he says it in his video. Uh, is this really a Beetlestone deck? See, is he being serious? Okay. Um. Gonna move up. I'm gonna get the Royal Skirmisher behind. I don't want you to kill him. Because this guy, remember, he has move. He could move again after he, uh, when he attacks. So I think it's gonna be harder for him to attack this lane than this lane. And I want to get this in front because in case he do is able to attack me, I'd rather have uh, this survive at one health than this be dead altogether. And next turn, I could play Wings Captain or Asian Knight if like, there's something I need to kill really fast, and I want to get that one countdown on. So we'll see. So if you don't know what uh, Beetlestone does, you could read that. It's kind of like a wind con. You could play that. If you keep playing them, you're going to do a lot of idle damage. So I do want to take that out when I can, though, but it's not a huge threat at the moment with, all, with our full idols. And seeing as we're aggro order. We'll probably do lighter damage faster than that Beetlestone, but then again, Blinky had a choice of what deck to play right now. He could have either played. He could have either played this deck, or um, whatever other deck he has. So he thinks this deck can beat Dacker Order. Okay, let's see. Come on, ah, he gets the go down. So we lose a 50/50 chance, but that's to be fair. I think we were a little lucky last match. Not much, a little bit lucky. Here, um, I don't think we need the Asian Knight to like do stuff really fast. I'm actually gonna keep the Asian Knight. Yeah. Oh no, I'm just gonna play the play it all. I'm gonna play the Asian Knight and the. Uh, okay, so I will go ahead and do this, and hopefully he doesn't have a soul steal for my Asian Knight. If he does, so be it. Let's see what we can do. So this Wings Ward is giving us protection yet again. I have no cards. 
or scrolls. He has four scrolls. I have four resources. He has three resources, and I would give I give myself a small edge on the board advantage. Not not much though. It's a pretty close match so far. Hmm. Depends on if he has anything to uh, deal with this aging knight. Maybe he's like a languid or something. He's I, he's not gonna be able to deal with my skirmisher. So if I can top deck like an eternal sword or a focus, that would be nice because that's more relentless damage. Maybe he's a brain lice right now. He's deciding if he want. I think he can brain lice the wings warder, and that would die immediately. That'd be pretty important because wings warders are would protect against all the damage curses and stuff, and brain laces on my other units. So if he can get that out of the way, that'd be good. But then I have like a free shot. Oh, he's moving up. I'm kind of stuck here. I'm not sure if I placed my units in the best spots last turn. Because it's going to be hard to position. Ooh, our heart's disable. What kind of deck is this? Is this like a direct idle damage deck? Hmm. So sad I drew a flip. I'm going to sack it, even though it could help me kill this frog eater. I'm going to sack it. I did not get what I needed. Um. I think I'm gonna have to move this Wings Warder off the row so he has an opportunity to get a nice damage curse off. That would be that would be a little sad. Uh. No, we won't. We'll, we'll move up. We'll kill the R Heart. No, we want to kill this thing, this Beetle Stone. Though. I mean, I mean, we want to kill the Shambler. So, yeah, we're going to go like this. And we'll get some idle damage off. Okay, so now he has a 4-4 four, four Rod Eater. And we don't, we, we don't have that Wings Warder on the same row as our two most important units, the Wing Shield and the Skirmisher. So maybe he'll damage curse his turn, and he does go for the opportunity to damage curse. He takes the chance. He takes the opportunity. And he's going to take out the wing shield as well. So that was a very nice play for him. And we're going to see what we can do now. We hopefully we can top deck a soul steel, or like a couple blessing of haste. That'd be good. Aggro order is definitely a lot about luck because you want a good starting hand, and then you want to continue to get cards that can help you. But we're still in this game, and like had a nice turn there. Wing Shield, I would kind of like to draw that, like not right now, because I, because I want to sacrifice an Eternal Sword and Ducal Infantryman. But I can only play one of these this turn, and I'm not sure which one I want to do. I think I am going to. Uh, I'm going to move down, and I'm going to play the uh, Eternal Sword. And then my turn there. So we can like damage this, but Eternal Sword uh, latches onto another unit if it's adjacent. So I'm not too pleased with my top deck there. Let's see what he has. He's second resources, and he goes for the damage curse. Okay, so at least it latched onto this and not this. Actually, the Winter wouldn't be too bad to latch on because that would get extra health. But I want it. They want the attack buff. So he gets rid of that, but that's two damage curses down. If you saw the new uh, taxing, raises the cost of the damage curse. So his next damage curse is going to be six cost. And he has one card in hand. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to do a bit of idle damage. It's a very close match. I hopefully can uh, get like a another uh, another uh, what's it called? Another uh, skirmisher. I need another one on the student in the field. That'd be good. Or a um, wings captain would be also nice. He's gonna move up, so I don't fault him there. That's uh, fault him. That probably wasn't the right word. I don't. Uh, I think that's a good play because I could like top deck a roasted bean potion, like a like and kill him. <laughs> but that'd be very low probability. But there's no point in him not taking a safe play. I'm going to sacrifice the eternal sword. I do like having a duplicate infantryman here, and I think that's a good play because now I could. Or it doesn't really matter. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take out 
an idle. That is important because I now that's important because I now have activated Dominion and that means my wings cleaver will be awesome. And I'm gonna put down a Duke of the Mission because I think that's better than a winged soldier. But now now my um this guy is not on the same row as the warder, but that's not too much of a problem. If he really wants to destroy it with like a damning curse or a brain lace, that wouldn't be a big deal. He has a three countdown anyways. He's not that useful. And he'll latch onto something with a two countdown, and that would be that would be nice. So let's see. I have a winged soldier in my hand. I'm getting a lot of small creatures to be able to spam out. I'm not that's not bad. But I'd really like to get a nice big like creature like a Vanguard or something, just to like have something where he really has to take care of something. That's what I want to do. Let's see. Um, I feel like there's a direct out of the deck, but it's all Beetlestone, and there's an Arrow which means that she'll like break through and just deal up the uh, idle damage. So we have to watch out for like a surprise necro, and I got I got a Vanguard, and that's pretty good. So I'll pl I'll play that Vanguard, although it's off countdown for most of these units. He'll still be nice to have, and I'll probably become on countdown with due to like some countdown reduction. And are we gonna move up? Yeah, I think we're gonna move up because fine, he can he might even destroy that all anyways, but I'll let him kill me there. Yeah. Because you're on two countdown anyways, and these other guys are on one countdown. So if he does kill him, the Eternal Sword is just gonna latch on to one of these dudes and they're gonna have three attack. But you know who's a problem for me? I think this Blight Bear's problem. I'm, I'm, I feel like it's going to be hard to prevent him from like poisoning my row. Hopefully I can draw a flip or a pother maybe and take him out with like one unit. I don't know. Very close match. Um, let's see what I need. So I'd like to get a Wings Cleaver soon. Not like right now because then I'd have to sacrifice it for cards because I don't have six resources yet. But I just, I want a big threat. Another big threat in front of this thing, uh, in front of this winged warder. I'm afraid he's going to try to go for like a necker gun soon because I did see he wants direct idle damage. So that might be the premise of this kind of deck. So I have to watch out a little bit. There's not much I could really do about that. Hmm. Probably thinking through something. Maybe he's choosing. Oh, so he's going to soul steal. That's kind of annoying, but that's what happens when he's not in the same row as the warder. Maybe he was deciding whether or not he should soul steal the warder or that. And I probably would have done what he did, that what he just did because that thing that was attacking was important. To him. Okay, he moves down, and that's that. Okay, so now let's see. Wing shield. I wish I drew that not right now and we didn't get a busting face that'd be really nice if we got busting face to buff both of these dudes and that'd be th and that'd be a lot of attack but we didn't oh well and we don't have like a pother either to like do much um we definitely want to keep the vanguard in the row with the warder i don't think i'm gonna kill this black bear this turn i'm not even gonna oh man oh man how am I going to do this? I, uh... Should I deal 3 damage to you or deal idle damage? I'm going to deal... Idle damage. And I'll play a Wings Captain right... Maybe I can play a Wings Captain right in front. Hope I can get like a busting face next turn. And now... He can just move this guy up and this guy down and kill both of these, which I probably not much I could have done last turn though. And at least the yeah he's gonna do that and the eternal sword will latch on and be able to kill this white bear when it's in front of his rod eater. Hmm. Still in this piece, I am aggro order. Now I just need like a flip, a, a flip and a focus to do this other idol, a couple decimations and another attack on the other idol and. That's the game. They can, I can win uh, all of a sudden, but he's getting seven on the board, and it's not looking too good right now. Okay. 
Now, let's see. I want to keep that Relentless guy. And we got another Wind Quarter. That's important. Uh, do I take 5 damage on the idol, or do I poison his whole row? I think I'm going to poison his whole row. So I'll go ahead and do that. It's going to suck to lose him, probably. He's going off the row with the Wind Quarter, and these two things are attacking. And that Harvester is... Oh man, I might be dead soon. I'll put this, uh... I'm gonna move you on this row. Because I want a... Healthy Wings Warder on the same row as my, uh... As my important dudes. So we can't get, like, a Soul Steal and then do something to me. Okay, so at least they're poisoned, but that Harvester is going to attack soon. So we really need to get our flips. Our flips and pothers. Or our Blessing of Haste and Rosa Bean Potion. Just stop getting all these creatures. We need we need utility cards now. We have some nice threats on the board, and now we gotta use them. Okay. So he needs... Sorry about the noise. My sister and her friend are home. So he's probably going to try to use both of these guys to attack this vanguard, and that's going to deal 5 damage to it in total, and then the poison's going to finish it off probably. Hold on, I'm just going to go close the door. Okay, I'm back. Um, looks like he's trying to figure out how he can get the um, both of those to attack that vanguard without like having his rot eater open or something like that. We'll see what he's able to do. Another rot eater. Okay. It looks like so he's not gonna be able to destroy this right now. He moved that up there. And if we're lucky, we can. Do some good things. We just need a, a lot of. We need if we get the perfect cards, we're still in this game. But we need perfect cards. He definitely has his man here. Oh, regenerator. This really is an all idle damage deck. <laughs> wow. Um, I'll sack the crossman. Focus box and haste. Ooh. You can move up. You have. You have a. Uh, you have two. Uh, you have two move. You have one move. Oh man. Um. I can. I can only plus haste one of these guys. I'm not, if I plus haste you, I can use focus on you. This harvester would go off. I gotta kill that harvester. I think I have to. Wish I'd like this was another blessing base, then I'd be set. Um, I think I want to. I could go ahead and kill both of these guys. I could just busting a face there and kill them, but then the harvester would just destroy me. Right? Then this guy destroys me. I don't do that. Now we gotta kill them. So I'm going to. Busting a face you. And now he has a huge rod eater. And he can kill both of these guys, or he might kill the Wings Warder. And we're kind of secluded now, so we're kind of like stuck in that idol. I don't love that turn. Maybe I should have gone for this rider, but then, we'd, then we're guaranteed to lose most of our stuff. Or he might just go ahead and destroy this idol right here with his 9 total attack right here, because he, I've, he's shown that he's a lot of direct idol damage. I'm sure he has the loyal darklings, the beetle stones. Or no, he's going to he's going to just take out my threats, which is probably a good play because I also have power to do things really fast. And then there's another harvester. So that's gonna cut down really fast because a lot of things are dying right. There's two things that are dying right there. When it's his turn, this thing's gonna be out of poison. And we can ooh. Decimation. I don't want to sacrifice, but I think I we need to keep that decimation. 
this thing has hex marks. I think we have to take that out right now. My eternal sword. Oh man. We have to take that out right now, I think. Or we could let it live. I don't know. We gotta take it out with the decimation. Or no, then we I think then we just have no chance of winning. If we want a chance at winning, I think we're gonna have to play this wing captain right now. Yeah. We'll take the we'll take the the hit. So no, if he Demicurse is like, let's say, one of his own things, like either the Shambler or the Trizen, he can get his heart to go off. Because I would no, he'd have to do Demicurse the Trizen, because he needs the one damage to hit the Shambler. Uneasy Alliance. Wow. <laughs> Nice props to him. I think he's gonna be able to. Uh, the Soul Steel. I think he's gonna be able to beat me with um a very cool deck. Again, sorry about uh, so about the, 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 so he does damage to me and kills me. Sorry about that banging. Uh, they're they're playing basketball outside, <laughs> so I'm kind of dead. Not much I could do here. I guess I have to sacrifice the the decimation piece unless I get like ooh pow there. I don't have any countdown reduction though. So like top deck countdown re reduction. Can he win right now? That he can almost win. He's going to win this game. Uh, I think our only chance at winning this game right now is like if we pother this and it lands right there, and I then I get like a blessing of haste. But that wouldn't even be enough to kill it. I need like a blessing. I, yeah, this game's over. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. There's not much I can do. I'm just going to play this, and then I'm going to... play you there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm dead. I am dead. So it looks like he can even up the score with this win for him, unless I can do something crazy. Because I do have a uh, Wings Warder protected uh, skirmisher down there. I need to get like Roasted Bean Post to move up though. I do have Decimation too. But like we said, he had a lot of direct auto damage. He probably has like a way to win like something like this turn or something. We'll see. We will see. It's not over till it's over. But it's looking bleak. It is looking bleak. Again, make sure uh, Blink Blinky's channel will be in the description. If you didn't know, he's airing all these matches uh, that we're having together in this uh, Deck Wars series on his channel as well. So you can go check that out for his perspective. I'm sure, I think he's doing um, live commentary as well. You could hear his thoughts and stuff. And another Harvester. Okay. And a dark one. So what does that put us? We uh Okay. So he has to destroy those two idols up there. Um Let's go ahead and pother this so I can at least destroy this shambler that's been doing a lot of work. Blessing of haste. We're gonna need that. I'm going to sacrifice the aging knight. And we don't exactly get what we need. What I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna hope I'm gonna have to hope I top deck like a uh I have to show it settle here. I'm just gonna have to hope he's not able to win on this turn, and I'm gonna hope I top deck like a roasted bean potion of focus and flips and all that the whole shebang. And I'm just gonna do a decimation here. Is we don't really have much of a chance of doing much now. We just have to hope. We have to hope that we have like two flips and a roasted bean potion. It's impossible actually, we won't have enough resources to play that. Uneasy Alliance. So, um. It's gonna be quite hard for me to win. There's a Wings Cleaver. That's true. I have to just load up on protection this idol. Uh, Beetlestone. <laughs> 
Maybe he's a beetle stone next turn. I, I, I want to see that beetle stone win. Us uh, with two wings. But I mean, whatever we put here is going to die anyway, so there's no point in me, um, in me playing the wings cleaver. So I'm just going to sack the wings over cards. Focus father. Um, start by moving up. Now, if we put down a ducal skirmish, we have to. Move, we we can't win this turn, right? If I, yeah, because we need to roast some people. I should move up again. If I pother, if I were to pother you, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight health. So if I if I can draw, if I pother and I draw roast bean potion, I win the game. I'm gonna take the chance. There's a chance I win the game on this roast bean potion. Ah. Oh. Man, that would have been absolutely epic. Okay. So they're probably going to win this turn. Oh, man. Right? I would have won because I would have had a Rusty Bean Potion, so I'd move up and then a focus. GG. If that Pother drew a R. Or I'll, I'll tell him after. So, good game. He won. So now it's all evened up. So now we have to change decks, and he has to keep that deck. He was using a Decay deck, so I think the obvious choice here is to, for us to go with our Structure deck that we chose, and our Structure deck that we chose was, um, was, uh, Energy Order Structures. So we're gonna choose that. Okay. Let's see.